So ways to find out if you are an emotional eater is when you eat because you're bored. Um, you watching TV and you look down at your bowl and you've just eaten a bag of popcorn. And you don't even realize it. You stop tasting it after the first couple of kernels and then you look down and the bag of popcorn is gone or the bag of cookies and you don't even realize that you've eaten it. If you've had a rough day at work and the first thing you do when you come in the door is throw yourself on your favorite comfort food. That's natural. We all have comfort foods that we like to have when we're not feeling well or we've had a hard day. When that starts to be a problem is when that's the first thing you turn to instead of do the, doing other things that would be healthier for you, like taking, going for a walk and burning off some of the frustration of your day. But when the first thing you, you reach for instead of the phone to talk to a family member or talk to a friend is that cookie or fatty food, then the weight starts going on and then it just snowballs because now you're not feeling as well and so what do we do when we don't feel what we want some comfort and we turn to food oftentimes for that and putting other things in place where that we can get comfort from and realizing that we're reaching for that food item because again it's that mindless eating that gets us in trouble and so one of the things that, again that we do in this group is starting to be more mindful of what we do and what we put in our body. So much of our day is is mindless. We're working at our desk, we're working at a computer, and we're drinking things, we're eating things without really counting what all we've put in into our body for a day. And that's just not a good thing to do long term. You can get away with that for a short period of time. Um, our body, however, likes a nice even keel. And so over time, if you're overdoing caffeine or sugars or carbs, it'll catch up with us. And, and so again, catching it early, knowing that I'm going to have a stressful day today, so I'm going to make sure I have carrot sticks or something that would be an alternative that would be healthier for you. So after you had that stressful meeting that you know you're going to be in, then you have something that you can grab and fill the need, but without, without the calories.